Remember when people could talk about Star Wars without a million angry fanboys jumping down their backs? I actually don't either. It's been around for my whole life. So Solo, A Star Wars Story is the newest Star Wars anthology spin-off film. This one is directed by Ron Howard, and the story is about young Han Solo. It's about how he meets Chewie, how he meets Lando, how he gets his blaster, how he gets the Millennium Falcon, how he gets his stinking name, Han Solo. I thought that was just something he always had. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I've always been looking forward to these anthology spin-off movies, but I've never wanted these young character movies. I don't need young Han Solo. I don't need young Boba Fett. I don't need young Yoda. So I was curious because this is a Star Wars movie, but at the same time, like, I didn't want this movie at all despite the fact that there is a lot of good talent wrapped up in this movie it's funny because this is actually the first of the new wave of Star Wars movies that I haven't done a trailer review for and I didn't review any of the trailers leading up to solo part of that is just when they came out I just didn't really have time when they were coming out but also it was just like I don't really have anything to say looks cool looks fun looks like it'll be a fun space adventure and I kind of feel the same with the movie it's fun it's a little space adventure talking casting first they have Alden Ehrenreich playing the young Han Solo and this guy has some big shoes to fill obviously and there was a lot of uncertainty about him going into the movie. A lot of people were nervous. He was actually, when they were announcing the casting ideas for Han Solo, he was my top choice. If you guys didn't see the Coen Brothers movie, Hail Caesar, I don't blame you because the movie wasn't very good. But Alden Ehrenreich was in that movie in addition to George Clooney, Josh Brolin, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum. And Alden Ehrenreich outacted all of them in that movie. So the guy has chops. And he did win me over as Han Solo. I thought he was fun in the movie. I thought he wasn't just doing a Harrison Ford impression. Is it weird seeing a guy who's not Harrison Ford playing Han Solo? Yeah, but it was going to be weird no matter who you get. After a while, I fell into it. I thought he was good. Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian was, of course, awesome. It's, I, I was expecting him to be awesome, but I think he was even better than I was expecting him to be. I loved him. He really was a young Billy D. Williams, but he wasn't just doing a Billy D. Williams impression. It reminds me of Ewan McGregor in the prequels. Like, he's not just doing an Alec Guinness impression. He really feels like the Alec Guinness character of Obi-Wan Kenobi, just younger. Donald Glover feels like the character of Lando Calrissian, just 10 years younger. There's a couple other characters in this movie, Amelia Clark and Woody Harrelson, I both thought were fine. They got their job done. I thought Paul Bettany was cool. I don't think he was in the movie very much, but he was a character I was interested in. He's kind of this crime boss. I liked his character because, for one, he was cool and Paul Bettany's a good actor, but I feel like he really helped to expand the Star Wars universe instead of shrinking it down, which I feel like a lot of this movie does. Chewbacca was cool, but Chewbacca's always awesome. The relationship between Han and Chewie was awesome. The way it starts, I don't know, it was a little weird, but seeing them interact in the movie, it did remind me of when we would see Harrison Ford and Peter Mayhew interact in the original trilogy. A lot of the fighting and the action scenes in this movie were pretty cool. I, I don't know. I thought they were fun. But that's kind of just my overall feeling of this movie. I was like, it's fun. It's cool. Whatever. And that's weird because usually coming out of Star Wars movies, I'm really like, yeah, that was awesome. That was a fun space adventure. Let's go see that again. I don't feel like this movie took me on an adventure. And that's how I feel with most Star Wars movies. I feel like this movie was a pit stop movie and not necessarily just we're going to go to this planet. We're going to go to this planet. We're going to go to this planet. Although you do go to a lot of planets in this movie. It felt like a pit stop movie in the sense of like, all right, let's get to this plot point And then we'll get to this plot point and this plot point and this plot point. Just like a checklist of like, okay, here's everything we know about Han Solo. We know there's the Kessel Run. We know he gets his blaster. We know he meets Chewie. So let's just hit all those points, slap it together, and call it a movie. And that's kind of a bummer feeling. There was no big surprises in this movie for me. Everything in the movie I saw coming. I won't get into spoilers, but there's like a scene is starting. I'm like, oh, that's when this is going to happen. They get to the Kessel Run and they're like, nobody can make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. And of course, you know, he's like, all right, well, he's going to make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. There's even a cameo in this movie. This person shows up and you've probably heard about it. I saw that one coming too. Granted, I didn't see it coming from a mile away like I did with a lot of the other stuff in this movie but still I don't know just the way they were setting up that scene it was kind of obvious who was gonna show up and because it's a checklist and because you know everything that's gonna happen it's just kind of boring and it's weird because there's been movies like that where I know what's gonna happen throughout the whole thing look at every single Harry Potter movie if you've read the books you know what's gonna happen in those movies but they still find an interesting way of bringing it about but for some reason in this movie I don't know there was just there was something lacking about it it was lacking a little bit of the energy that I want from a Star Wars movie that's not to say that the whole thing is boring in fact, the very beginning of the movie and the very ending of the movie, my two favorite parts. I thought both parts were really exciting. One does expand the universe and stuff we haven't really seen before. The other is something that we already knew about. But I just thought the way that they did it was kind of fun. But a lot of the movie just kind of felt like I've been there before. There wasn't too many new and exciting things. A couple of the tie-ins I thought were a little weird. But at the same time, I thought the cast in the movie was pretty good. I liked Han, Chewie, Lando. I liked Paul Bettany's character. There's just not a lot to this movie. I'm kind of rambling because I do want to talk more about the movie. I just 
can't really think of things to say. I don't think I'm going to do a spoiler review for this movie though, so I'm going to do a little spoiler section right now, so like earmuffs on if you haven't seen the movie. The thing I was referring to at the very beginning was Han stealing the car and racing and all that. I thought that was fun. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like American Graffiti. George Lucas directed that. Ron Howard started in it. With that 50s, 60s car racing scene, I thought that was fun. And again, it's something we didn't really know about the character of Han. It's something we hadn't really seen before, so that was cool. And then the scene at the end of the movie was the final card game. I, I liked the location. I liked the tropical feel. I liked how Han was able to trick Lando out and steal that card from underneath his sleeve. Makes sense in Empire when he's like, you got a lot of guts coming back here after what you pulled. Although I do feel like Lando and Han didn't end the movie on the best terms, so it, it does seem weird in Empire how Lando would welcome Han in. I know they want to make sequels to this movie, probably explaining the whole Lando-Han relationship a little bit more. They're definitely not going to make them though because this movie is losing Disney money, so we can just fill in the gaps for that with our own minds. And then the cameo was the Darth Maul thing. Once I heard Sam Witwer's voice and I saw the robotic legs, I was like, oh, that's Darth Maul. And it made sense because Crimson Dawn, Darth Maul, yeah. But that's really it. I couldn't really think of many other spoilers in this movie. Solo was a fine little space romp. If this was any other series other than Star Wars, this would be like the surprise breakout hit of the summer. If this was like Smithy Weston and his outer space adventures, I think this would be kind of a fun movie hearkening back to the original Star Wars. But since it is Star Wars, it just, I don't know, it feels very paint by numbers. So I thought the movie was fine. I didn't love it. I don't even know if I'm going to go back to the theaters to watch it again. Especially now with Movie Pass, how you can only see a movie once. I'll probably just, I don't know, wait for the cheap theater, wait for the Black Friday blu-ray sales but yeah that's solo i wanted to talk more about this movie i don't know i feel like this is already going to be a long video but i also feel like i repeated myself a bunch so whatever let me know what you think of solo down in the comments and also let me know kind of what you guys want to see out of these star wars anthology movies because i personally don't want to see the boba fett or the obi-wan movie but i'm curious about the game of thrones dudes movies i'm curious about ryan johnson's movies the thing that i'm most excited for right now is probably the live action tv series that john favreau is doing because i know there's different places you can go in the star wars universe that isn't the skywalker saga so if you guys have ideas of where you want them to go with star wars write them down below. But I do want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.